Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome to yet another episode of Baking in Camouflage, because it's so much manlier. <laughs> you didn't expect me to make another one quite so soon, did ya? <laughs> but anyway, this time we're going to make Bête Noire, which is French for the Black Beast, and that's actually kind of a fitting description, because there's tons of chocolate in it, and it's not even... I wouldn't even call it a chocolate cake of some sort, because there's no flour in it, neither is starch of any sort. It's basically like a baked chocolate mousse. Well, I realize I'm going a little heavy on the chocolatey recipes lately. Next time I'm going to make something different, like cinnamon rolls or something. We'll see. Be that as it may, the Bête Noire is carefully baked in a water bath and it's really simply awesome for chocoholics. And, but what am I talking for? Just, just see for yourself. Please enjoy. Thanks for watching always. Prepare a baking pan like this one, butter it and wrap it in three layers of heavy duty aluminum foil. Like this one. I like to use the big one because it's broad enough to cover everything and it's very thick and sturdy. As opposed to the usual thin small one you get at the supermarkets. Then find a baking dish or baking tray that uh, holds the entire baking pan and that goes about uh, half as high as the spring form itself. Pour one cup of water and three quarter cups of sugar into a pan or a bowl or pot for that matter, that was the word and bring that to a boil over medium heat kind of like this dissolve all the sugar nicely and let it simmer for about five minutes making sugar syrup basically remove from heat source over low heat now melt down unsalted butter nine tablespoons of it that's one stick plus one tablespoon uh, or just plain about 128 grams. Add 18 ounces, yes that's about 510 grams, a little more than half a kilogram of bittersweet or semi-sweet chocolate chips. I'm using cooking or baking chocolate. And whisk until smooth. Remember to keep the heat low for this, otherwise the chocolate will separate. Nice and melted, you see? Now it's time to mix in, to whisk in the a little cooled down sugar syrup, maybe not all at once. And the rest. Stir and let this cool down for a little while. Not too much though. Okay, kind of the last step for the main dough after it's cooled down for a bit so the eggs won't scramble is to add six medium to large sized eggs like this one at a time and whisk until smooth. And fast forward to the last one. And as you can see this is kind of a wobbly business, very much like a pudding of some sort, but without any starch or flour. Pour it into the prepared pan. Oh yeah. And pour water in the outer pan until it reaches about halfway of the cake. I don't have, unfortunately I don't have a bigger one, a higher one, but I think it will just about do. And off into the preheated 180 degrees Celsius oven. That's about 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 50 minutes or until the center of the cake is not wobbly anymore. Hmm. I think that should be okay. Yep. Not wobbly anymore. Liberate the concoction from its foil cover and water bath and let it cool down completely inside the pan on a cooling rack. Cool it down! Oh yeah, it's so dense and heavy. Bring one cup of heavy whipping cream over medium heat to a simmer. Remove from your heat source and put in 8 ounces, that's about 227 grams of bittersweet or semi-sweet chocolate chips. I'm using uh, baking chocolate again. It shouldn't be too hot anymore once you're done since the chocolate absorbed most of the heat while melting. 
Now just pour that goodness right over the cooled down cake while still in the pan. And distribute evenly, oh yeah. Mm. And off into the fridge until it sets. Should take about two hours. And now it's done. Isn't that beautiful? Mm, witness perfection. I think that's the most beautiful cake I ever made. Simple yet amazing, oh boy.